Hello, this is Brad Harvey. Welcome to our Ask the Advisor video series, where we answer your financial questions. Hello, today's question that we're going to answer is, what are three tax mitigation or tax management strategies that we can utilize with our investments? To put another way, how should we be looking at the impact of our investments on our taxes? Now, we're really focused on income taxes. Investment strategies for estate and gift taxes are a topic for another day. So with income taxes, essentially what you want to make sure is that the taxes that you pay for your investment activities do no harm. What do I mean by that? Well, the first concept with investments that's critically important to understand is capital gains. Capital gains are the difference between what you paid for something and what you received for it when you sold it. It can be a gain or a loss. If it's a gain, it's taxable. If it's a loss, it may be offset by other gains, but it can also reduce your income taxes if it's long term. What is a long term capital gain? Well, under current law, long term capital gains are for assets that you held for more than a year. So you bought it today, you sold it a year and a day from now, it's long term. And that does currently have some preferential tax treatment. What I mean by that is the tax rate paid on capital gains, long term capital gains right now is less than the ordinary income tax rates. Now, if you're in a very low tax bracket, it's not really going to matter. But if you're in a high tax bracket, it matters a great deal. So the next strategy talking about matters of a great deal for high income earners are tax free investments. We typically look at this class of investments as municipal bonds. These are bonds or debt instruments that are issued by cities and local governments to raise money for their own needs. The interest paid on those bonds typically is tax free, it's certainly tax free at the federal level. And if you buy a bond from your home state, Typically, that interest is also tax free from your income taxes in that state. Now, there are exceptions. There are AMT bonds and other permutations, which I'm not going to go into. But tax free bonds are another investment strategy that you can use to reduce your income tax load. And the last topic or the last subject for investments that can help you with your taxes are dividends. There are two different main types of dividends. There's qualified and non-qualified. Qualified dividends are paid by U.S. corporations and that dividend that's paid to the shareholders right now gets preferential tax treatment on your income taxes. So you pay a lower tax rate on those qualified dividends. Remember, not all dividends are qualified, just like not all interest is tax free on a municipal bond. So this is Brad Harvey today answering the question, what are three strategies or concepts that we can look at to manage our taxes using investments? Thank you. Thanks for visiting our channel. We hope you found the information valuable. If you want to see more videos about investing, please click to subscribe. If you have any questions you'd like for us to answer, please send us an email to harvey at riagroups.com. We would love your feedback.